Yo, what's up everybody? Thank you for finding your way over to In-House Convos. Before you dive deep into this next episode, do me one huge favor. Find that subscribe button and smash it. Then go and select any video you want. Give some thumbs up and leave me some comments. And since you're already on social media, you know how to share and all that. Go ahead and repost this for me one time. But enjoy this next episode of In-House Convos. Yo, what's up everybody? We're back with another episode of In-House Convos. Today is a very special episode because today I got my pride and joy, my baby boy, little Mark the franchise, Mark Jr., baby Mark, a.k.a. Papacito. What's up, big guy? How you feeling, Papacito? Good. Yeah? Thank you for coming on here and talking with me. You're welcome. I, re I really, really like it. Let's try to talk closer to the mic, okay? Okay. I really, really like it a lot. I'm glad you're talking to me. I love talking to you. I love having conversations. I'm going to fix your mic, okay? Like straight to my face. So we talk. Can you go ahead and talk? So. All right. So that way we can still see your handsome face. Because you're so handsome. <laughs> yeah. So how come you wanted to come on and talk to daddy? I thought it would be fun and we can like make my own channel called Sito World. You want to do Papa Sito's World? Yeah. Is that something you've been wanting to do for a while now? I also have a channel where we're still uploading it okay. with my YouTube videos. All right. What made you want to um, jump on YouTube and have your own channel? So I can get subscribers and get a, a golden play button. A golden what? Play button. So I can hang out in my room. Oh, like a plaque or something? Okay, that's like cool. YouTube stuff. Yeah, have you always wanted to be on YouTube? Yeah, what else? Okay, so besides YouTube, what else do you like doing? Podcasting. You like to podcast? Yeah? <laughs> no. No? You like to play soccer, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I'm pro. You're a pro at soccer? I'm the best of my team. Yeah? What position did you play? Defense and striker and goalie. So you did everything. Man, you're pretty good, Papacito. Did you score a lot of goals? And also my coach just sucks. Hey, you can't say that. That's not nice. <laughs> your your coaches, they just need a little bit of help. They need a little bit of... Um, you said it? They need education. That's all they need? Yeah, they, they just don't have the proper education. They don't, they, they're having a hard time leading your team. It's easy to lead me because I'm already good. Yeah, you're really good, Papi. You, you, have, you have a lot of experience. You know what it is, though? A lot of um, the teams that you were on, you didn't have any other uh, teammates who had a lot of experience. You maybe had one or two, but the other teams, they had the whole team was experienced, so it was harder because you guys were playing against a lot of better people. But I was still better than all of them, just as like all of them against me. Yeah, no, you, you did a very good job. I was, I was still doing better. I, I love your um, awareness when you're on the on the field. field. You you know how to watch where the ball's going. You know how to yeah. like kind of predict where it's gonna be at. So you kind of like look and you start sidestepping to a certain side or this way because you know it's about to come. You're not afraid to kick the ball or attack it. You're not afraid to shoot your goals. You're a very good and a very smart player. And once I've done this. I kicked the ball at the middle of the line. I scraped two people's head. It was still, it was still like speeding fast. Mm. A player, the goalie put their leg up and went right through it. Oh my and I goodness! Scored. I remember I was there at that game. Yep. You have a very powerful kick. Did you notice that every time you went to kick the ball, the kids would move out of your way, or even the parents would scream, "Go, Mark! Go, Mark!" That's cool, huh? They, everybody liked how you played, and everybody showed you respect. That's why they moved out of the way for you. They knew, oh, man, this kid kicks so hard. We got to move out of our way. I know, because yeah. I'm going to break the booms. You're going to do what? I'm going to break their booms. Their booms? <laughs> What's a boom? A boom. A bone. I think you said their booms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Papacito. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, Pabasito, you're very good at soccer, and I love watching you play. And my favorite player is Messi. Yeah, Messi's a very good player. 
better than Ando. Very. Oh yeah, way better. I know. And Neymar's the worst. I know, but he sucks. Huh? He, don't say he sucks. <laughs> Just say he's the worst. I know. He even farts. He what? <laughs> he farts when he runs and dribbles. Daddy farts too. <laughs> but you don't fight when you dribble. Yeah, I do. You just don't hear it. <laughs> I'll run. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I got a kiss. One time I shot the ball. I went like this. <laughs> One time I shot it and I, I tried to kick the ball and I missed the ball, but I still went. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need to save it to go to the goal? No, my pedito pushed the ball back faster. <laughs> no, it should have went like this. It, you should have just shined it forwards. And then right when it was about going, so I can blast it and turn it, and it goes in the ball. Yeah. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. <laughs> no. That would that'd be real crazy. No. Are you ready to play soccer again? You ready to sign back up and start going again? Yeah. I like when you play midfield. I like when you play midfield because you're able to go back and forth. You're, you're great enough at, de at defense to stop everybody and kick the ball out and clear it out. And then when you're on the offense side, you're really good at shooting the ball and kicking it hard. And every time you come in the game, you always keep the ball on the other side. When you're not in the game, the other team tries to score more and shoot more. But when you're there, you're so good and fast and strong. You just you clear it out. I love watching you play. I'm not the fastest, but I'm the strongest. Yeah, you know what? You are, you are pretty fast, though. You, you may not be the, the fastest, but you're fast. You're really I'm fast. Just the strongest of the team. You're the very strongest. strong. Yes, sir. You're very strong. You you kick very hard. Now even your aim, your accuracy is getting a lot better too. Before you used to just kick it. Now you're able to kick and shoot and score goals. You know, next year, who knows? You might even score more goals. And the year after that, even more goals. You just gotta stay with it. You just gotta keep doing what you're doing. And as long as you love it and you're happy playing, you just gotta keep doing that. Can you do that for daddy? Sure. You can make sure you're just having fun and you, and you love playing? Yep. Okay, if there ever comes a time where you don't have fun doing it no more, you don't have to do that, we can try a different sport. Just sometimes when I lose. Not all the time, not just sometimes. Yeah, but... Well, it's the, not like the good times. Yeah, it, the winning and losing doesn't matter, the papa. See, those not, it's not your fault, for one. I know you want to win because you're so good at it, and you want to win because you try so hard. But, uh, again... You usually the teams that you you get put on, you're the best, and then they have maybe one or two people who've played, and then everybody else is brand new. All these other teams that are playing, none of them are brand new. All of them have been playing, so they have so much more skill than all you guys. Well, so, I just have the most skill. You have the most skill on your team, but the other team, they have a bunch of players who've played before, so it makes it harder for you guys to win because all of them have played. I like. Two players in my team have experience. Yeah, so it, it's you plus two players. That's three, and then it's against the whole other team. So it's not it's not fair. Cause we need a little like five good players. Yeah, yeah. You got you guys need more help. And the whole team will be good, and it will be fine if we had only like five players that are good, and we had the rest bad, and the whole team had all good because we have enough players to win because we're good. Yeah, but you see, because the teams aren't aren't really fair yet and set up right, it's just all like for the city and for help. It's, it's not your fault that, that the team loses or, or wins, but you just got to remember the important thing about this is that you keep loving it, you keep having fun doing it, and you just keep showing up. A, a lot of times there's people who are great in life, Papacito, but they don't do anything because they don't show up. There's people who are smart, people who are strong, people who have skills, but they don't show up. So the fact that no matter what, you're always there giving it your best, trying to show it up, Papacito, right here in your heart, you're always winning. You're always going to be a winner because of that. You understand? Never stop trying. Always have fun. You always got to have fun. And you have, to, you have to be happy doing what you're doing. You have to love doing what you're doing. If you love playing soccer, we're going to get you to every soccer game. We're going to put you on as many teams as we can, all the practices. If daddy's schedule ever changes, daddy will be a coach to help you out. You do whatever it takes just to make sure you keep having fun, okay? Is there any, go ahead. And what I wish to you is my dad one day could say to be a coach on my team. If if the 
if my work schedule ever gets a chance to change, big guy, I, I will 100% be your coach. I will help you guys shoot and pass and kick and learn and, positions. And be goalie? Yeah, I'll, I'll train somebody to be a goalie. Because, like I said, you have such a powerful kick and you're, you're so good with your defense and offense. I think if we just had you at goalie, it would take away from all your skills and how much you could really help the team. If there there might be a, a player who you play with who's not good at offense, that likes defense, that we can just keep them on defense, but at the same time, because they're not good at offense, put them at goalie too. They can stand in the back right there. But for somebody like you who can score goals and shoot and you're not scared and you're fast and strong, being offense and defense is perfect for you. I really like watching you play. I really like um, looking at you go on, on both sides of the field and attack the ball and you always change the outcome of the game. You have such a great um, skill set that you change everything about about the game. You're so good. And that's going to get even better as the older you get. When you get older and you're playing more leagues, more leagues, and you get even better and better, you're going to score more goals. You're going to kick the ball further. You're going to be doing all these crazy defensive stops. Like you're, you're, you're only barely starting, Papacito, and you're this great already. You're just starting and you're this great. You just got to keep going and stay with it. Because I just want to play. That's all I do. Yeah. I like kicking stuff. And kicking. Yeah, and you're good. You have a very strong foot. And I, I love to watch you play that. I love to watch you play soccer. If you ever want to play another sport, of course, I'll put you in any other sport you want to do. It might be just volleyball. Volleyball? You like volleyball? Yeah. What about basketball? Football? Baseball? Hockey? No, no hockey. What about um, boxing? We can train. We we'll do that. What about? Let me see. What other sports? Do, do you, tennis. You like tennis? We can try tennis. What the heck? It's because that guy's. Uh, At our house. No, he's doing the neighbor's yard. Look for there over there. Mhm. Mm what about what about outside of sports? What would you like to do outside of sports? Outside? Yeah, so w when you're not playing sports, what do you like to do for fun? You like to play Brawl Stars, right? Yeah, yeah. And Roblox. Roblox. What else do you like to do? I like to watch TV. That's what I usually do. And sometimes you be lazy and sleep. You don't sleep. I don't show that, but yeah, sometimes I get sleepy and I don't sleep. You'll sleep at night, but I... It's been a long time since you took a nap. But yeah. I just get sleepy off of me and I can't, and I feel like a wasp. Yeah. So I just like lay down and relax myself. Okay. You get you get comfortable and you, and you relax on um on the couch. I just lay down. And lay yeah. down and look at the, the couch so I can like. Be like peace, and I'm not looking at the TV to like speak, make me awake. Okay. So I can like have a little bit of rest. Oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah, cause it's been a long time since I seen you take a nap, but that's good. At least you're resting and relaxing. Everybody needs some time to just relax and rest and just hang out, you know. What um what else do you like to do besides Brawl Stars and Roblox and watch TV? Is there anything else like you do? Do you like to color? Do you like to sing? Do you like to draw pictures? Do you like to be a big brother to Ava and Jack? Yeah, you like to do that? What else do you like to do? I used to like playing with toys, but now I don't even play with one of my single things. Yeah, because you're getting older now, huh? It's different now. The, the older you get, the less toys you play with. That, that's how it is. Daddy, when Daddy was a baby boy, I used to play with Theo Johnny all the time. We would have... Um, toys, they were like wrestlers and there, there used to be a toy called a G.I. Joe. I don't know if they still sell them, but a G.I. Joe was like an army guy or a soldier or something like that. And we would just pretend to play with him and beat up bad guys. But as you get older, you just, you, you stop playing with toys. You start getting different interests. Your brain starts thinking different things and you start, you know, transitioning. I started, I started with toys, and then I did Nintendo games for a little bit. I used to play Nintendo and, and, and video games and computer games, 
But then real fast, I stopped it. I just, I got bored of it. And then ever since then, I started writing music and doing music ever since back then. Yeah, I started, I think, when I was like 10 years old. 10 years old. Um, right now it is September. It's not September yet. No, we're in September right now. It's about to be October. Two more days. Right so now? When is my birthday? Oh, yeah, October. November, December. December. Yes, sir. So Jack's birthday comes up first. Then. Yeah. No, well, cousin Evan and then you. But, um,. But yeah, for for um, podcasting, I I want to say I did it. It's somewhere in this age. No, maybe like four or five months ago. I think I think about five months ago. I five? no no like like five five months ago. So I, I think maybe May, April, June, July, August, September. Yeah, may, maybe in like May or April. I think I started a couple months ago. Right, right now, this yeah. year I started this year. I, I wanted, I wanted to do podcasting a long time ago. Daddy watches podcasts all the time. I love watching podcasts, but um, uh, to like help you with the podcast. But to actually be on a podcast and do it, I, I've always wanted to do it. I just started Easier. doing it this year. All right. Okay. You ready to say goodbye and wrap it up? Bye everyone, a new guest is here. Tell everybody who you are. I'm Murky Boo Boo. No, tell everybody who you are. Go ahead, you can tell everybody. You don't have to put your headphones on. You can just turn, talk into the microphone. You can just say that your name is Mark. My name is Mark and I am six years old. Oh my goodness, and what do we call you, Papa who? Papacito. Yeah, and you're going to have a show called what? Papacito World. All right. And you're going to tell everybody to tune in and subscribe and hit the like and all that? Yo, you better do or else. Tell, go ahead. Tell them right now. Talking to the mic. You better do or else. I'm coming to, for you tonight. Hey. Box you. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, we can wrap it up right here, okay? All right. Everybody, thank you for tuning in for this special episode of In-House Convos. I am Mark the Franchise. This is my handsome, beautiful baby boy, baby Mark. Mark Jr., uh, Little Mark the Franchise, Baby Mark the Franchise, a.k.a. Papacito. And stay tuned for his YouTube channel and videos on Papacito's World.